MS can be misdiagnosed, especially in the beginning when the symptoms are mild. A patient may come in with something like a numbness in the hand and a doctor chalks it up to carpal tunnel syndrome or something similar. Say a patient has a numbness in their hand. They might go to their primary doctor, the primary doctor you know, refers them to the neurologist. The neurologist will listen to the story and they will do an examination. And a neurologist on an examination, what we're looking for is signs that it's actually something that's occurring in the central nervous system compared to the peripheral nervous system. We do usually get a panel of blood tests. We do wanna make sure we, of course, have the accurate diagnosis of MS and not another condition where there's a blood test. Um, we don't have a blood test that can help us diagnose MS. So we're really doing those tests just to make sure there's nothing else. And we usually get MRI of the brain or spinal cord, which includes the cervical spinal cord and the thoracic spinal cord. So sometimes that's like three separate MRIs. And then some patients also get a, a, what we call a lumbar puncture or a spinal tap. And that we do because 90% of the time, patients with MS have a marker in their spinal fluid that supports the diagnosis of MS. But that means 10% of the time, people have MS and they don't have that marker in the spinal fluid. So we don't do a spinal tap on everyone. In a neurological exam, um, what we're doing is trying with pretty simple exam maneuvers to test uh, what we can of the central nervous system. So we are assessing the patient's cognition. We are looking at their visual system. We are thinking about their strength and their motor system. We are testing their sensory system, their coordination, and also we are testing their walking. When we diagnose a patient with MS, we have this thing. It's called dissemination in time and space, which is a little bit of a tricky topic, I think. But what we want to prove using dissemination in time and space is that a patient has had um, evidence of this immune attack in multiple places in the central nervous system. That's dissemination in space. And then at multiple time points. So that's dissemination in time. The reason we use those criteria is because we want to make sure we're diagnosing MS and that we're not uh, mistaking it for another condition. And so MS is really one of the only conditions out there where we have both of those things, multiple points in the nervous system, multiple points in time. Most people I find actually don't think of MS when they have their symptom and they go into the primary care doctor. They're thinking it could be that they have an infection um, or some other mild medical complaint and then a diagnosis of MS takes them by surprise. We do have a lot of studies that show that if we treat somebody earlier, they do better in the long run. And so um, we do want to get a patient on treatment sooner rather than later.